Bear Nation. What's up, everybody? I'm all dark. There we go. Well, um, welcome back to uh, the Bear Nation Freight Train. I am the Oso Independiente Bear of BearIndependent.com. Um, <clears throat> we're going to talk about plate carriers today, minimalist setup, the bear setup, and uh, the legality of such things going forward, especially in light of the 2020 uh, elections. First off, I'd like to shout out to the insect, whatever it was that bit me right here. I hate your guts and I want to smush you into peanut butter and jelly. Uh, second of all, Hunt Stand. You might have heard of these guys, Hunt Stand. They sent me a cool hat to cover up this atrocious dome that I've got. Uh, they also give you 10% off. I believe it's 10% off uh, with the code BEAR. So you can go check them out. Uh, they have an app for hunting that's pretty cool. But what I like it for, as a preparedness-minded individual, uh, as a prepper, uh, they have phenomenal maps that you can get printed on paper, laminated, or on canvas. I have two on canvas. I'll be showing you guys more of those as we go forward, but they're freaking tremendous, and Mexico didn't even have to pay for it. Also, shout out to the David Cracked Pepper Sunflower Seeds. They are just crack, not cracked pepper. Now, let's move it along. No, I get it. Um, and also, thanks to Red Bull for the sponsorship. I'm not sponsored by them. Uh, all right, let's talk about plate carriers, legality of plate carriers. I think we are approaching the day when civilian ownership of plate carriers will no longer be an option. I don't know if they'll, I doubt they'll do something retroactive like, hey man, this is the sheriff's department, hand all over all your armor. Um, not around here, they won't. We've talked about that before, especially on Patreon lately, that uh, you're not, if, if, if. They go door to door around here. It's not going to be to take your stuff. It's going to be to let you know, hey, just want to let you know, uh, we still love the Constitution. We might need your help, so let's be friends, right? Not uh, turn over all your weaponry and armor. So around here, at least, I don't think you'll see confiscation of civilian armor, but I do think that you'll see the... Uh, limits on the procurement of armor by civilians going forward. It'll probably be something stupid like the National Save Kids Act or the If you don't vote for this, you're a communist act or some, you know, whatever they do. But I think you could, in the spin up to the 2020 elections, see body armor as a talking point, especially with these yahoos walking into Walmart pressing triggers like idiots. Um, I think it's possible. So, if you don't have armor, you should get some. So we're gonna talk about some armor real quick. I'm gonna spin this camera around. Uh, now I'm fixing to give a set of it away to my $5 and up patrons. By the way, Big Squirrel, Big Squirrel, you won last month's giveaway. So you have a Bushcraft belt setup coming to you. And so you have 72 hours from the time this video airs to get with me in an email, November Tango X-Ray Mike Alpha Golf or a Patreon message and claim your reward, sir. Congratulations, Big Squirrel, and thanks to everybody else who played along in the home game. Uh, so I'm gonna show you the kit that we're giving away this month on Patreon, here in a hot minute. Um, but big thanks to AdventureFrontier.com, our brother, the NWA Prepper, for hooking us up with this gear, and then Cody at Sojourn Gear, and then also some company from China that sent me a knife to test that I'm not gonna, because it's, look at this thing. It is 100% a knockoff of the Gerber strong arm, and it's a really good knockoff of it. It's sharp. Can you all see that? See that? Sharp enough to shave with, but uh, it's also 26 different kinds of patent infringement, and it says right on the box, made in America, except it's not because I got the shipping info on it. It's not made in America. Why does it have a Chinese customs form with it? So I'm not gonna tell you where to buy it and I'm not gonna keep it. So I figured I might as well give it to one of y'all as part of this giveaway. So I'm gonna spin this around. I'm gonna show you A, my plate carrier, uh, what I run every day, EDC, man. Everyday chaos. Uh, what I run with my plate carrier uh, which I've done a video on before. It's the Condor Mop C, and then I'm going to show you what we're giving away on Patreon. So, this is not a be all end all. This is just to hopefully put some ideas in your dome that you could latch onto something here. 
um, and improve your situation. So stand by. All right, this is the Condor Mopsy Modular Operators plate carrier. Okay, and this is mine. I run it. This is my cool nothing fancy owl on the woodshed patch. This is an American flag. You might have heard of it. This is a Sharpie. This is a push to talk microphone for my radio, which we'll get to in a minute. This is my primary tourniquet, as well as routing for my radio cord and my hydration bladder. It's all on my left shoulder because I'm predominantly right-handed. Uh, and I can still switch if I do need to shoot weak side or support side, whatever floats your boat, whatever you want to call it. There are this plate carrier. I've got an insert up front for three mags. They're P mags. These are Gen 2 P mags, and these are, it looks like 5.56.55 grain. Yep. That's what it is, I believe. Yep. Okay. So, then typically I'd have a pistol mag here, but I don't at the moment. Some gloves, and then an actual Gerber strong arm is here. I mean, just look. Look, this is the actual, okay? And then this is the knockoff. Look. I mean, it, it's ridiculous. It's not made in the USA. This one was not made in the USA. It's made in China. Can't, can't believe it. But an actual Gerber strong arm that's seen some decent use. Good knife. That's there. Um, there are some... Instead of side plates, there are some cigars over here, just because. Moving along, over here, we have a Gen Zero uh, bare minimum kit. This is a prototype kit. This is my blowout kit. And uh, you can get these at AdventureFrontier.com. But it's basically got uh, two hyphen, full-size hyphens, a pair of shears, two 5x9 combine pads, nasal pharyngeal airway, a set of nitro gloves, medical tape um there's quick clot in this kit which you can get as an addition at adventurefrontier.com uh, a set of shears a cat tourniquet and a six inch north american rescue pressure dressing all in here ready to go and and again my primary tourniquet's up here because i don't want to be diving into my blowout kit for my primary tourniquet right and then on the back i'm running a my radio back here which is a kenwood radio and then I've got this, which is the Condor HCB2. Hilo, Charlie, Bravo, Dos. And uh, I get all the questions about this all the time. It's about 50 bucks on Amazon. I love it. My only complaint is that if you're moving with any, um, <laughs> any rate of speed, it gets wiggly. So my buddy Cody at Adventure, or not Adventure Frontier, SojournGear.com. Uh, oh, I got a douche pouch over here as well, rolled up. Made me this little compression strap to hold it all in place. And I'm not going to dive through what's in here, except for the fact that I guess I am. But we're going to go quick. I got a poncho, some uh, ass wipe, granola bars, a monkey's fist, a cordage, and then straps. Because this is mollied on right now, but it does come with straps as well. If you want to use it as a little day pack thing. And it comes with a two and a half liter hydration bladder for that 50 bucks. So there's the thing. And then in here, I've got some uh, cliff bars. That's a little strappy do, triangle bandage. Wow, tack. Which, which one is this? Wow, TAC A2S. This was sent to me by a patron. You're awesome, brother. Thank you. Headlamp. I've got some baby tums. And uh, you stuff that full of a, um, put a Walmart sack in there so they don't rattle around while you're operating. operating. Got some maps. Got some socks, wool socks, and a Ziploc. And little face shield thing. <laughs> yeah, you better know what that is. A little tiny corkscrew in case we need to operationally get our wine on. Some five-hour energies, some earplugs, and um, let's see, and some utensils. So that's kind of just a catch-all up there. 
and then I've got a whole mess of uh, honey roasted peanuts and I've got a couple of NIOSH masks, one MRE, two MREs, and some zip ties. And then you got a bladder in here, bladder ready to go. I think that's it for this compartment. So the idea here is I've got 24 hours of operational capability on my back. I've definitely got combat covered as far as you know magazines and all that i got cutting tool with my knife i've got cover with my poncho i've got calories i've got candle with my headlamp i've got combo with my radio i've got casualty care between my first aid kit or my blowout kit rather and my tourniquet um i've got combustion in my pocket because i always carry a lighter with me um i've got cordage you know we're, we're doing pretty good as far as this this 24 hour little day pack mollied onto this plate carrier. So uh, stand by, I'm gonna clean this mess up and then we'll talk about the other one. So I should add that this mop C that I've got has got uh, more miles on it than most people's running shoes. I have uh, I use this for PT regularly. As you can see, it's getting a little, just a little warm out here, whatever. But I use this thing for PT constantly. Also shout out to Viking Preparedness, Pastor Joe Fox, the original American badass. Shalom, brother. Um, yeah, this thing's got a lot of miles on it, so the next time somebody's like, Condor's airsoft gear, be like, cool story, bro. It's also actual gear as well. So with that in mind, we're going to bounce over to the uh, giveaway plate carrier, which is a Condor Sentry model. Again, I got this at AdventureFrontier.com, and it's rocking Spartan level three plates in it. Now, typically I like three plus or level four plates, but these came with paperwork that they will stop up or they've been tested to six rounds of 762 by 51 millimeter. So they'll stop 308. Um, without getting all the discussion about 762 by 51 millimeter versus 308 Winchester versus blah, 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 blah. The point is they'll stop rifle rounds. And my, my conviction has always been if I'm going to take the weight of armor, I better be able to stop rifle rounds. Otherwise, why bother? So let me show you what we're giving away. Again, thank you, NWA Prepper Adventure Frontier.com. Thanks for the hookup, man. And also, brother Cody at Sojourn Gear. Stand by. I want to point one more thing out as well. This hopefully doesn't feel too sales pitchy because it shouldn't be because I don't care where you get your stuff from as long as you get good stuff. But I want you guys to understand something. YouTube sucks for me, right? And so it's only by like people like this that even make it economically feasible for me to be able to cover my costs, not make money, cover my costs to bring content to you. And then as far as like creating these giveaways, if it wasn't for the kind-heartedness of our partners in crime here, AdventureFrontier.com and Sojourn Gear, this wouldn't happen. So if you're going to spend money on prepper stuff, I'd love it if you at least looked at Adventure Frontier and Sojourn Gear. You can go anywhere you want, but understand that without them partnering with me to do what I do, we're not in a position to give this kind of stuff away. So... I apologize if it does feel, I'm not trying to just name drop all over the place, but I mean, that's the reality of the situation in these days right now. Since April, 2019, the YouTube algorithm has decimated liberty minded channels and God forbid you read your Bible on camera, you're dead. So uh, we do both of those things and I'm not ready to roll over and die yet. And so in order for me to not roll over and die, it requires that I partner with people like Hunt Stand like AdventureFrontier.com, like Sojourn Gear. So if you don't want any of that, you can come see us on Patreon. Stand by. Shazam. All right, so this is the Condor something, something, something. It's uh, made by Condor. It's their Sentry Plate Carrier. Got a little uh, three mag bolt on here. These are three uh, GI Palmetto mags, 5.56. Five, they come with the giveaway. By the way, if you're on Patreon and you're going to enter uh, this giveaway, which I think most of y'all are, $5 and up patrons, um, number one, you got to be a $5 and up patron in good standing. Number two, please don't enter if you're in a state where you can't own body armor or you can't have 30 round magazines. And uh, that sucks for you. And I'm really sorry that that's the condition that you find yourself in, but 
hot damn, man. I don't want to have to do all the research and, you know, go to ship this thing and find out you're in, you know, New York City. It ain't happening. So please play fair. If you're not eligible to own this stuff in the first place, please don't throw your name in the hat. Okay, so we got a Condor three banger up front with three Palmetto GI mags. Uh, brand new. Oh, it's all brand new. We've got a brand new Gen 7 cat tourniquet up here. We've got, uh, this is our Condor Sentry plate carrier in here. Let's see. We'll pop this open. Show you. These are the plates. 10 by 12 Spartan Armor Systems. That chicken comes free with the deal too, so feel free to get them. Uh, there you go, Spartan Armor Level 3s. And you can go to their website and, and do all your homework, but uh, their Level 3 plates do a damn good job, okay? And again, we talked about our Chinese knockoff knife. This is gonna come with, and it's got all the bells and whistles. You can molly this onto your forehead however you see fit. But I can't, this just pisses me off. And you know, I called Gerber, and I sent him two emails, and I called him again. I said, hey, you know, you got somebody who's ripping you off. And th their basic response was, eh, whatever. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm done trying then. So, knock off Gerber knife on the back. No! Red Bull down. Red Bull is hard down. Man. Man. You dead to me, Red Bull. All right. On the back, we got a brand new... Condor HCB2 Hilo Charlie Bravo Dose. Uh, it's the same thing that I just showed you. I see right there, HCB2. Can y'all see that? No. Whatever, just take my word for it. Hilo Charlie Bravo Dose. Just like that, the Red Bull was gone. Um, so it's the same pouch, the same day pack that I'm running on my Condor Mop C. So, you've got the ability to stop rifle rounds. You got 90 rounds of ammo with you. I'm not sending ammo with these because I tried to do that in a giveaway a while ago and then realized that uh, you can't ship ammo through the mail. It's gotta go U UPS ground and you gotta declare it and have so much insurance and blah, blah, blah. So just buy your own ammo. But you got three mags, you got hard plates, you got a Gen 7 cat tourniquet, you got the ability to carry 24 hours worth of rations and, and stuff with you. You got a cool knife to stick into the throat of your enemies. And then you got a uh, brand new Gen 2 Bearfack blowout kit and uh, in ever fashionable coyote tan. So you pull that, you pull that, then this comes out, right? And then in here, see so you get your little red tab. So you pull that. Then in here, what do you got? You got another Gen 7 cat. We got a decompression needle for tension pneumothorax. We've got some medical tape. We got a pair of uh, nitro gloves in blue because I need to be able to see the blood. Okay, blue, got it. Uh, we got a six inch North American Rescue emergency trauma dressing. This is basically like a giant Band-Aid. And, uh, you know, it's a cool color, too. Tactical. We've got two 5x9s. They got a little crushed up, but got two 5x9s. I like big gauze because if I need small gauze, it means I have time. If I need big gauze, it means I don't have time. If I need a small piece of gauze, I'll cut my big gauzes into a small piece. Got a nasal pharyngeal airway with surge lube. We've got uh, our high fin chest seals, full size, two of them. We got a little bit of a commercial quick clot, two of them, um, right there. And then we've got a pair of high quality North American Rescue seven and a quarter inch shears in that blowout kit as well. So if you're interested in that kit, you can get that at adventurefrontier.com. Uh, it's the bare minimum kit and it's what I run on all my, all my high speed tactical gear, man. So this is the giveaway for this month. Again, to enter the giveaway, you need to be a $5 patron or up in good standing and you need to comment on this video below um, and I'll tell you we ask a question each month in the comments so my question to you would be for you to answer in the comments as your entry is uh, what's your favorite prepper meal 
and anybody who answers beans and rice is instantly disqualified. So I, I want to know, what do you actually anticipate making in the end of the world as we know it with a smile on your face? All right, people O's of the Bear, Bear Nation, um, thank you for being here. Uh, you're getting back to armor, man. I think the time's coming. If you don't already have the stuff that you need, uh, hardware-wise or freedom seed wise as they say to be cool on the internet um i think it's time to to get some of those things uh now that does that mean we quit stacking food to the rafters no absolutely not stack it to the rafters but um you know i think scarcity of all things or at least a a lessening in quantity of all things is coming uh be it food or armor or ammunition or weaponry or freedom um access to quality medical care i mean all these things i just see all these things everything is just kind of constricting uh, you couple in that uh couple in couple that with the best words tremendous believe me couple that with uh any kind of economic anomalies kiss it goodbye sweetheart we're looking at bad times. So armor, should you have some? Yeah, absolutely, I think you should. Uh, we have several sets around here. And um, I'm pretty happy with this Spartan gear uh, for what it costs and what it is. It was a good price at adventurefrontier.com. It's good quality stuff. The Condor plate carrier, I mean, it's a Condor plate carrier. Mine's lasted me four years of hard use and it still looks pretty good. Um, you know, luckily, brother Cody, he's, uh, He's an awesome tailor, so if something breaks or gives way on me, I just have him fix it. But very few complaints uh, from me. And yeah, that's it. So this is going to be one of those videos, that a few rare videos, half a dozen a year that post on both platforms at Patreon and YouTube. So there's my answer. If you're like, Bear, what kind of minimalist plate carrier should I run? That's it. Three mags up front, blowout kit, a knife and uh, uh, hydration bladder, done. Bear, what kind of like serious operating, what kind of play carrier should I wear? I just showed you. You can also just uh, put in the YouTube search bar, uh, Condor Mop C, and my video will come up, or Bear Independent Condor Mop C, M-O-P-C. Modular operators play carrier with the knife heads, and it'll come up. Somebody in the comments was like, I can't stand when you do voices. Wrong channel, man. I'm sorry, but wrong channel. Anyway, y'all, I got to go cook dinner for my family so they don't starve to death. Um, thanks for being here. Buy some armor. Shalom, y'all.